What is up YouTube? This is Sparta and today I'm showing you guys a drill that I like to do whether it's to warm up for a game battles match or just to play online in a public match and I like to do this one almost every day if I can and I really want to show it to you guys because I think it could help you guys improve your game and your skill set. Now we're going to go into private match obviously and go into game setup. Now, I like to run it on Detroit, personally playing Team Deathmatch. Now, under options though, for the game options, you can really set the time limit for however long you want to train. And personally, I like to do it for either 10 or 20 minutes, depending upon how much time I do have or whatever I feel like that day. But for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to do five minutes so that I can just talk to you guys while I do it. Now, score limit, obviously you're going to want it on unlimited because we are going to be getting a lot of kills. Now, under general settings, you are going to need to turn your mini map radar always on. And this is very important so that you can find your enemies. And it's all about hitting your targets in this drill. It's not so much running around the map and finding the best position to be in, it's about physically hitting those targets. Now you're going to need to go into health and damage and turn the health up to 200%. Not 130, not 150, 200%. And this is going to help us really focus on making contact with the target and continuing to shoot until they are dead. Now join in progress, obviously you're probably going to want that off unless you are doing this drill with a friend. And I usually like to run either seven or eight bots because Detroit is a pretty small map. So I'll do seven just for the purpose of this video and on recruit because you do not want them killing you when you're focusing on doing your own thing. Now under your class, I usually run with an ASM-1 or a BAL. Really whatever gun your favorite preference is, is probably what you're going to want to run here. And then I just put lightweight on, fast hands, and peripherals is a key in this drill. You're going to need peripherals because then you can see them on the map at all times so you're not constantly running around trying to look for someone to shoot at. Now as for perk 3, run scavenger because you're going to want to stick with the gun that you have chosen to do this drill with and you're not going to want to run out of ammo. I just run blast suppressor, I probably should put on toughness instead because bots probably aren't going to be looking at the mini map. I also run overclock but that's just a little bit of an extra. Now once you have all that set up you can go ahead and start the game. Now, this drill is very similar to a lot of other people's drills that they have posted on YouTube, but this is kind of my own variation of it. And personally, what I like to try to do is kill as many people in one clip of an ASM-1 as possible, and basically focus on really hitting every single bullet on target because that is a key whether you're playing online or in a competitive game mode. Now we're gonna spawn in here with our class and you see I have these seven bots on in my peripheral so I can see them right off the bat where they're going to go. And I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about other variations of this drill, the way you can really help improve your skills whether it's just hitting shots or actually winning gunfights. Now, this is actually my first game, so hopefully my shot is decent. Now, you're probably going to still burn through people if you do decide to use the ASM-1 because it is pretty strong at close range. Now, this is another point that I want to make. If you're using a gun like the BAL, you're going to want to practice at long range. Now if you're running an SMG, such as the ASM-1, you're probably going to want to stay more close to mid-range in your gunfights when you're practicing because that's probably what you're going to encounter in an actual game. Now other variations of this drill, you can either turn it into like a drop shot drill where you make yourself drop shot every single kill, even if they're not moving. I'm gonna see if I can reload here 
Hopefully this guy doesn't kill me with the ASM-1, or the EM-1, my bad. And really, you can turn this into a drop shutting drill, get your reactions a little bit better, get the feel for really drop shutting. And if you don't have a scuff controller, then either play claw or tactical because drop shotting in this game I feel is stronger than jump shotting in a lot of situations. Now you can also take this and then begin to practice jump shotting then. And focus on hitting every single shot when you're doing that. Now really you can branch off with this, use any gun you want. Really do anything you want with this drill. But I personally, I, I love this drill before I start playing. I like practicing because practice makes perfect and we all want to be the best Call of Duty players that we can possibly be. So that's pretty much going to do it for the video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this drill and if you did, do make sure to stab that like button and hit subscribe to join my Spartan Army today for the latest and greatest in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. And as always, this is Sparta and I'm out.